what I'm going to do in this video is find the Holy Grail layout or at least the Holy Grail layout as described in a list of parts article and set it up locally on my computer so I could start working with it so really the, the first thing I need to do is find the particular layout and um, the layout it was from an article from a list apart a list apart and it was called the Holy Grail layout it's actually just called that on its popularity it's used very often and it's really a good one um, if you're finding it for yourself you should find this article over here it's at um, www.alistapart.com forward slash articles forward slash holy grail and if you scroll down they give an example keep on going right before how it works and this is the actual layout uh, as you can see it has a header it has a footer it has a left and right sidebar which are have a set width and the middle of it is flexible so it kind of depends on how you um, e expand and, and, and shrink this thing so really once you actually see the example you could grab everything you want so the way I do it is uh, first get to this page where you see the example and then go into Dreamweaver and start by creating a new document and I'm going to create a new blank HTML document actually what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm going to select HTML 4.0.1 transitional uh, don't want to get into specifically why I'm picking that just a little more forgiving than some of the other doc types and here we go I have this set up now if I if I look at um, this page over here all I really need to go to is the page source and I have everything I need and from there uh, at the very beginning they've actually embedded the style of this document not because this is the best way to do it just because this is the easiest way to deliver it to someone like us to where we don't have to try to grab both documents but this is not the part I'm grabbing right now I'm just want to grab the HTML part so I'll grab everything from the body that they have from the, the beginning body tag up here to the end body tag and then when I go into my document I just want to make sure I take everything in the middle and just the only thing I'm going to delete out of the blank HTML document Dreamweaver created was that body tags it has in there because that's what I'm grabbing from the other place and I paste it in and now let me save this and I'll save this as index.html because it's going to be my main index page and if I just give it a quick preview this is what you should you should see for yourself as well you should see this is the header this is the main content and just basically the normal uh, normal flow of the document like this um, okay that's the first part and now let's grab all this style stuff because this is actually what's going to end up putting all that stuff together for us now if you look at their layout they start with an embedded style tag over here they start with that HTML style declaration we don't want to actually take that part of the code we just want the the stuff in the middle so where if you look at this it'll say the essential code so everything from the top down to the very to the very last thing is this um, column dot col or container dot column we're gonna copy all that so again don't grab this style tag over here and neither the one above you just want what's in the middle over there and when we come in here and back into Dreamweaver, we'll create a new page and we'll create a new CSS document, which is blank. Shouldn't give us anything more than that. It gives us this char set. That's fine. We could actually delete this CSS document comment it puts in and paste that in. So now if, as, if you didn't mess with your Dreamweaver preferences to change um, the color coding of some of these things, uh, some of the code you see you should see the actual tags or declarations in purple or this light purple color and everything else in blue so just take a peek and make sure that the syntax is looking correct and there's nothing out of order alright so it should look similar to this and then let's save this so I'm actually gonna create a new uh, no, I'll just save it just like that. I'll keep it main. 
in here. I'm keeping it in the same folder as my index file. And now, you know, our index shouldn't, or rather our HTML page shouldn't have changed any because we haven't actually linked it up yet. So now what we're going to do is, is link this page together. So let me link, I'm going to browse for it. Actually, I just kind of jumped ahead, but in my CSS panel over here to the right, I'm going to click that little link or that, I guess it looks like a, a key, uh, a link in a chain. That's exactly what I'm, I'm going to click that and over at the file URL, I'm going to link to the main.css file. Click OK. Everything's good. All right. Now I'm going to save that and what it should have added up here at the in the head portion of my document is this link that's linking to the file and let me actually name give this thing a name to my holy grail layout probably name it something more descriptive once we actually have everything set in place but for now that should be adequate and we look at it okay so this is exactly what we were looking at before on the web page but now it's actually locally on our computer so we could start working with it what you'll notice is it looks good here it looks good in Firefox it also looks good in Internet Explorer um, just, just take my word for it for now uh, but notice how in design view of Dreamweaver you don't see the um, the left sidebar like ugh, like is over here well that's Dreamweaver's, the way Dreamweaver's design view actually is rendering this thing, not completely right. So to a certain extent, you're not going to be able to rely on Dreamweaver's design view rendering of this layout as an accurate gauge for what it's going to look like. So anytime you're making an edit throughout this process, constantly be checking your edits through all three of the main web browsers. Currently, it's going to be Firefox. Safari and Internet Explorer. So that's the beginning of how to set up the Holy Grail for your website.